Hey guys, Shinchi42 here. So in this video, we're going to talk about Herman. Herman is a great disabler, as you can see in his attributes. He can limit the other commander's fighting capability, and he is a great archer leader as well. And also, he is one of those commanders that would be good to defend your garrison. So the first skill of Herman is Ambush. It is an active skill and requires a thousand of rage. And once Herman reach a thousand rage, he is going to cast his ambush skill and it would deal a 750 damage factor at max level 5 and then also reduce the rage of the target by 100. And also it would add this silencing the target for 2 seconds, meaning 2 turns. And this 100 rage reduction is really really great because if you're earning 100 rage per turn and you can limit this commander, the enemy commander, by 100 rage, meaning you're limiting them one turn each time that Herman can cast this skill. So the second skill that Herman has is this um, military genius, basically increases the archer attack bonus up to 10% at the max level and increases the march speed of the archers by 10%. Now if you have a full archer unit, this is going to benefit you really well because you will have a 10% max marching speed bonus. So the third skill of Herman is this called Legend of Tudo Burger. Um, I'm probably saying this incorrectly and probably the uh, pronunciation of uh, my Tudo Burger is different if you're actually speaking a German language. So pardon me for that and uh, this is quite funny for me actually, the <laughs> burger, because it just makes me think of a cheeseburger and maybe that's my American mind thinking about it. But anyway, let's get to this. This third skill is the complementary skill to the defender attribute that he has. So this is going to be the uh, skill that you want for a garrison defender. So he will increase the attack bonus up to 5% at the max level. It says your garrison slash watchtower attack bonus. So if you can bring Herman into a flag or a fortress, he can act as a garrison commander and going to increase this by 5% the attack bonus. The fourth skill that Herman has is this called National Hero. This is a passive skill and what this thing does is it would increase the attack damage bonus by 10% for the entire troops that he has at, at the max level of this National Hero at level 5. And also it has a chance to gain 100 rage and the trigger chance here is goes up to 10% when it's maxed out. This is a great skill that really complements this ambush skill because if you can gain 100 rage and uh, this ambush skill would basically be able to cast a lot faster compared to normal if you don't have that increase of rage, additional rage there. Now you're going to limit your commander by casting this ambush skill. Basically what's going to happen here is that you're going to gain total of 2 turns if you think about it in a practical point where like the enemy would reduce one turn and you gain one turn, meaning they are set back now by one. Now you gain two turns practically ahead of them. Now, once all the skills have been unlocked and they are all maxed to level five, you're going to be able to unlock the expertise skill. And the expertise skill for Herman is called Dead End. And this is enhancing the ambush skill, which is the first skill that he has that is mainly dedicated to disabling a commander. And so this skill, this dead end, is increasing this damage factor from 750 to 1150 damage factor. That is a 400 uh, damage factor increase here. I think that's a very huge increase. Although being a disabler, he didn't really improve here with his uh, rage reduction and also the silence for the target would remain the same. Uh, this is more of a damage factor increase only. I wish it was more of a disabler um, buff to where like increases the that rage maybe to 150 and silence for like maybe three seconds, but it was in this case. But I think this is still a great skill because it would increase the damage to the commander or the units that they have. Now let's go ahead and look at Herman's talents. We're going to build Herman into a nuclear pad. Now, if you don't understand what nuclear pad is or don't understand how to build a talent tree for a commander, make sure to 
check out my video about the talent tree video and I'm going to actually put a card above so check that out so the reasons why we're building Herman into this nuker pet is because he has a skill damage now we're going to increase it by the superior tactician it increases that by 5% at the max level and also we're going to target this talent that is going to be rage recovery that will increase 25 rage after he is going to cast a skill and also here is more of a passive talent that um, Herman's going to now grant two additional rage when he is under attack this is a great complementary skill or uh, sorry complementary talent for the ambush skill now once you're building this towards the nuclear path as you can see there is this guardian angel which also encompasses for the defender role of Herman which is a great great talent here after you've built Herman into a new character, go ahead and proceed to the Archer talent path. Because Herman is a great Archer commander and he has that military genius skill that would really benefit the Archers in this. So once you've built to this Archer path, I'm going to mention this Archer commander ta uh, talent. This is going to benefit you when you only have Archer units in your compos troop composition. As you can see, it would grant 2% additional damage when only Archer units are chosen for this commander's army. So maximize that. If you want to build a full Archer unit, use this skill, or sorry, use this talent and it would really complement Herman's skill. So to discuss about the defending part of the garrison for Herman, you can actually put him into this wall. So if you click that wall and you will have this option and you can put Herman in here. As you can see, Kosu Noku Mashige is also a defender, so that's why he is in this garrison. So I can switch him up and make him the garrison leader. Now, if I want to go to the flag, and uh, let's search to, for our flag here. As you can see, you can also reinforce and let him be the garrison leader. And there is a information here that dictate that this is going to be part of a garrison as you can see the number one description here when garrison troops so that means the flag will have a garrison and then as you can see by going to this fortress it would be the same concept with the flag and garrison is applicable for this fortress as well so three things your city your flags and your center fortress or alliance fortress would serve as a garrison for your commander. So guys, if you guys like this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. And I really want to know what build you guys have for Herman. So make sure to comment that down below in the comment section. I want to know what is your approach for Herman? What is what are you using him for? And uh, just let me know so we can have a good discussion down there in the comment section. Also guys, if you guys have not subscribed to my channel yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button and I believe there's a bell icon there. If you hit that button, you'll be able to get notified, uh, notification when I upload a new video. And also, make sure to share this video to your family members or maybe to your uh, alliance members also and the enemies in this game because we need to spread out the word and help them out because we want everyone to be enjoying this game. and. For them to enjoy this game, they must understand how to approach the game, right? So let's help them out and uh, again, I just want to say thank you and uh, let me know if you guys want to see any future commander specific videos, just uh, comment that down below as well and we're work we will work on that. Thanks for watching, make sure to comment your opinion and make sure don't forget to like and make sure to subscribe to my channel. I'll definitely see you guys in the next video.